Aww, Aww, geek, geek out. out! Pinky's up. Time for another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. This week we're going to be talking about Ice Cream Man by uh, W. Maxwell Prince and Martin Murazzo. Out in comic book stores everywhere on Wednesday, January 17th, um, through Image Comics. Also available on Comixology if you're more digitally inclined. Jake, what do you think of the book? Uh, it's a um, interesting book because you look at the, I guess, standard cover. Yes. Uh, which is the first thing, you know, when, when I guess when that was announced, you were like, oh, my God, look at this cover. Look at this fucking cover. It's, <laughs> yeah. so, it's so great. Um, Everyone looks happy. Yeah. Oh, man. Because it's the ice cream man. And it's almost like, I almost don't want to say anything about this book. So you just, like, open it up and you're like, whoa, fuck. <laughs> um, but, man, oh, man. Um, it, it's, it is dark. It's one of the darkest things we've it ever read. It is fucking wild. Yeah. And and we mean that in a great way. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and like, oh man, it sends shivers down your spine. Um, it is super fucking interesting. Uh, and it, goes places, man. Like it, 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 and it's one of those comics that's like bold as shit because it tackles. Well, every issue, without necessarily going into very specific plot points, is every yeah. issue is its own vignette. Yes, which is which is cool. Um, and the there's, only narrative link is the ice cream man. Yes, which is which is really which is really kind of cool, um, because I knew nothing of, like I didn't really know anything about it going into it, you know, um, which is why I you know I kind of like if anyone's listening to this and they haven't read it yet, like I'm, you know, giving away the fact that it's just fucking dark wild ride, <laughs> but it is, and it's it ta- like I said, there's a, there's an issue in particular that, oh, wow, I mean like that's kind of like the the power that comics can have telling telling a certain story and dealing with. Uh, some really heavy, heavy, dark shit. Um, also, there's a spider in it, which is just fucking terrifying. <laughs> um, because Sam and I hate spiders. We do, we do very much so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Will, who we've had on the show to talk one week in the library. Obviously, we've got him and Martine coming to talk about this book too. Um, yeah. The uh, he likes to play around. Like he doesn't like to stay concentrated to one genre or one style um we've been lucky enough to get access to more than one issue without necessarily saying what happens in those issues Yes, exactly yeah but uh yeah he doesn't stay it's not the same tonally the the books aren't the same and and i'm and i was glad that we got those access that access to those to those uh those issues um because it really fleshes out what's going on with the book you know um and I think informs us better, you know, just to kind of give a, a broad idea of it to people in this review, because, like you said, I mean, it's there's nothing like it on the stands. Yeah, not even close. Yeah, nobody plays like you know defies genre constructs like you know you see that one week in the library. You yeah. see, I mean, these, these guys, both Martin and, and Will, worked on the Electric Sublime mm-hmm. over at IDW, which similarly kind of deconstructed the the notion of of genre and really just storytelling in general. Um, it's this one isn't quite as abstract in that. No, no. If anything, it's closer to like say Twilight Zone. Yeah, that's that's probably the best way to put it. But mm-hmm. instead of Rod Serling, you get Ice Cream Man. You get Ice Cream Man. Perfectly circular hat too. Oh yes, that's, that that disturbs me on some level. Like how perfectly large and circular the hat is. <laughs> of all the things that describe no, no, not. You. I mean, not that's not the most disturbing thing. <laughs> but I remember like when you see it, and you and you know what, in as you get deeper into it, I don't know. You just see, you're just like it's so. It's a perfect circle. Yeah. How does he keep his uniform so immaculately white? Yeah. Also, just to throw it out there, like, when was the last time you saw an ice cream man on the street? Uh, I not, remember when I lived with you, There's that was the last time I ever saw one. And that's that, a couple years ago. The last summer I lived in that neighborhood, which was not this past summer, but the summer before. I I mean, living in the, in, in, in the area I grew up in now, you know, back, back, uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to say where I live, like back where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I haven't seen Ice Cream Man in like forever. Um, I, I just don't know if that's a thing. You know what I mean? Like, no. I mean, you could. I mean, even the way he's dressed, because our ice cream neighborhood ice cream man growing up did not. No, I don't. I don't ever remember seeing that. Yeah. Uh, I remember. You know, you hear the jingle, you'd see the. Well, in a way, this book. Uh, you know, we were only two issues deep, so I can't say for sure. But in a lot of ways, it kind of deconstructs, if not just genre, but the idealism of suburbia. Yeah. 
That's true. I was just curious to like the ennui. You know, anybody out there? Do you guys still see ice cream men? Ice cream men or women? Around? Yeah, or gender neutral ice cream deliveries? Ice cream people. Yeah, driving around because I don't, and it's that's it's kind of sad. Like you, you know, every so often you hear that because like now I have fucking money. You know, I'm yeah. not like doing like dr- like mowing people's lawns for like you know, uh, or like you know doing chores and running out and having just enough money to buy the Spider-Man popsicle. Now I have money; I could buy like seven of those things. Choco taco. Go to, go, oh god, and go to town. Yeah, you should go to town on this book. You should. January seventeenth. You should. Comicsology, comic book stores everywhere. You know, will you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. I said now that I have money, it makes it sound like I'm fucking loaded. No, no, no. Now that I have, I'm a grown adult that has a job. Yeah. <laughs> I'd spend it on ice cream. Uh yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> but no, th- this book's a, this. I I was just was about to say this book's a good time. This book is a dark time, a dark exploration of suburbia and the daily lives we build for ourselves. Yes, yeah, How, how's that? It's pretty. It's pretty good. I was just say bold as fuck. Yeah. No, check it out. It's. I mean, you know. Please do. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Again, January seventeenth. And watch the space because, yeah, we got to talk with, with Will and, and Martine coming up all about it. Mm-hmm. This has been another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. Keep reading. This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening. <laughs>